Hello and welcome to Toto TCG. You are here with me, Matthew, and we are back here with another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video on the channel. And in today's video, we're going to be checking out one of the Elite Trainer Boxes from this set. Yep, we have got two yet again. Uh, we went through this a few years, uh, maybe like two years back, when like pretty much like two to three sets were like, oh, have two, and another two, and another two. Yeah, that was a bit of chaos, but hey, it was it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun getting two Elite Trainer boxes, obviously, because you get uh, a load of interesting bits and pieces, and this one is also rather interesting. They've um, added a few bits and pieces to it. I have made my decision as to which one it is, and here comes the inevitable foreshadowing shadow, and it is going to be the violet version or the maridon version right here looks absolutely gorgeous right here i'm trying to get some shiny shine on it it is a lovely gold and purple sort of design going on here dark and uh, light sort of purple magenta sort of going on there um it's this it looks like the same design on this front and back um in terms of like you know how, how it normally does however there's a few differences in here uh we're not getting eight packs we get nine packs um which is a nice little bonus um we've also you can see this nice little artwork right here this is actually a promo the promo should be in here as well um of course we get energies sleeves dividers but we also get some different looking dice as well because there's no set logo and two new counters for Poison and Burn, which do look very, very cool. I don't know whether they're going to be plastic or metal. My guess would be plastic. Of course, EXs don't need any sort of, like, counters or anything like that for, like, you know, to show you've used their EX move. You know, there's nothing like that um, in these, so we won't be uh, needing that per se. So, without further ado, I'm not going to waste any more time. We're going to get into this one and uh, get everything out. So we can have a good look at all of this. We will have a little look at the uh, the booklet as well to see what's what in the set. And hopefully, yeah, we've got all the artworks on the inside here going around and around and around. So, yeah, we've got that one for this. Seems almost seems like a different quality cardboard, but can't be 100% on that one. It just feels a little bit different. Does the picture expand? No, it's the same. Okay, the picture stays the same. Normally with some of these, if you spin it around, it goes from like being big to small and vice versa. Anyway, um, do we get into that now? No, you know what? Let's just pop that to the back for a second. Let's do a little bit of uh, quick reading over what's in the uh, the little the, the bookie book right here. Let's bring this down a little bit because otherwise we're going to be all over the shop with this. And bring it back a little bit. There we go. All right, player's guide, nice and glossy and everything. Got some artworks on the inside. Begin your new adventure. Uh, what's new in this expansion? A few, obviously, of the EXs. We've got the whole evolution and all of that going up and up into the e uh, different forms here. With Lechonk going into the Oikolone or the EX. We've got some Terra Pokemon EX, that's what they're being called. Pokemon tool cards, obviously they've got their own different thing now, so they're not just going to be an item, it is literally a tool card, so if a card says item, this is not an item, um, it is a tool card, so that's a nice little change there, I think I've skipped a page there, hello page, there we go. Um, now there we go, so we've got a few different things, we've got expansion codes and rarities, so it's just explaining everything here about the expansion codes, we've got illustration rare cards as well, which are right there, newly discovered Pokemon, Meowskarada, Skeledurge, Quackquavol, uh, and then we've got a few of the other ones here, our sort of uh, redos basically of some uh, of our favourites. And then a few extra bits and pieces here, just showing off some of the new, uh, the newer Pokemon that are in this one. Annihilate and, of course, uh, King Gambit, which are those evolutions that got an extra evolution, which is quite nice. Um, we've got some combos as well, talking about here. Whale, Whaley, Whaley... I guess that's what it's supposed to say. Brulatal... Excellent, jeez Louise. <laughs> okay, uh, Raw Fury, cool, there's the Dondozo and Tatsugiri. 
Pain, pain, float away. Okay, so it's just talking about the drift loon as well. Could be an interesting one. Uh, we've got poisons are forever. Ooh, okay. Oh, is that muck going to do something to do with poisoning? Ooh, that'd be interesting. Paradox engine. There's the Coridon right there, but it's also being paired with the Reverum there, probably just due to the discarding of energies, and then you can use the ability then for the, uh, I think it's called Dino Cry. Hopefully we can pull that and shove it off. Iron Caltrops, okay. I think this is more like damage counters and stuff like this, like, because I know the Cacnea and Cacturn have got like uh, an ability for damage counters, and then I think Iron Tread ZX has something as well. Trainers to look out for. There's plenty of new trainers in here. Nest Ball, a few of the older ones. Penny, the two professors right there. Ultra Ball and Rock Chess Plate as well. And then, of course, a lot of our cards right here. Now, this is the interesting thing. This is all of the stuff that makes sense here, okay? So, we've got our commons, uncommons, rare. Fair enough. We've got a double rare, an ultra rare, an illustration rare, a special illustration rare, and a hyper rare. So the gold card is no, these these are just, I think, solely for the gold card, um, or gold card, should I say. But if I scroll through all of this, because we don't really want to spoil too much, and we have seen quite a lot of these uh, throughout our first opening of the booster box. So if you haven't already seen that, go and check it out. Um, and then we should be able to get to this page. There we go. So this basically shows off some of those different ones here. So we've got a Tarantula, Dolive, Toad Scroll, and you can see a few of the other ones going on throughout here. There's a lot, there's a lot still to find. Um, and a lot of these I'm looking forward to seeing if we can pull. There is um, a whole story card as well. So you'll notice down here that we've got a Ralts moving into a home, then a Curlia, and it's sort of like moved on, and there's a Gardevoir that finishes off the story. I would love to get all of these so we can finish that story and just pop that in the binder. I think that would look amazing. This Grievard looks absolutely super duper. Riolo. The Sandile, so basic, but that works so well. Um, the Cloth, King Gambit, I love that one. That looks so cool. The Starly, Squovert as well just to show off a few there. Then we go into the full arts here. So you can have a little look at some of these. Hopefully we can pull a few of these as well. The trainers as well. Nice selection of trainers. Great to sort of see them in card form here. And then a few more finishing off there. So about eight trainers there. Then we've got some EX sort of uh, <laughs> special illustration rares here. Um, not come across any of these just yet. So we'll be looking, hopefully, to pull some of these. Love to pull some of them. This one, this one definitely. I think these two are really, really cool. This one actually makes up a picture with the pre-evolution, so that's pretty cool. And that's the end one with the guard vault right there. It just sort of finishes off the whole thing, which is pretty cool. A few more for the trainers right there. And then the gold cards as well. There is six gold cards in total. They've, they've got the Pokemon as golds as well, which is really cool. These are the EXs rather than just the basic uh, hollow ones. And then I think on the last page actually shows off the promos, which is quite interesting because they've never usually done this. Just sort of shows you all the promos. So you've got the pre-release ones, which we've got all four. Then you've got the single booster packs, so it shows you that those two are available. You've got the triple blisters, which are Arcanine and Dondozo, and then Maridon and Coridon, which should be in this one. So overall, pretty cool indeed. Pretty nice. So without further ado, let's get this all unboxed and check it all out. Ooh, okay, pack wanted to come out there. Um, so we've got our cardboard right there. We should have nine packs total in here. There is indeed nine packs. Lovely stuff. Always good to double check that one. We should have our lovely stack of energies right here. So plenty of these. I want to be using the newest energies uh, to try and keep up with the uh, the borders and everything like that moving forward. Uh, we've got, oh, they look beautiful. So we've got these lovely gold and purple. Oh, that is beautiful they look amazing that really does pop very very nicely it's nice to sort of have that difference if they were both gold on both sides but that that looks whoa, like a golden ticket lovely stuff there is the promo card for the maridom so i believe this is just the hollow but it's the promo version of it so this is number 13 i will be taking it out of the sleeve i'll only be getting one of these so uh yeah if i can get it out of the sleeve there we go Got to be careful with this, just in case. 
I don't want to like damage or scuff the sides. And let's pop a sleeve on it. So it's the same as the normal like illustration res with it looking a bit more 3D and I love this sort of like cyberpunk-esque feel going on here. The the, the background, the colours, the pink moon, it just pops really nicely as well. Really like that one. So great little artwork right there for the Maridon, especially if people were thinking of using the hollow. That's an ideal one, of course. All right, what else we got? Uh, we got the code card, which will give us everything in here. That's all cool. Um, oh, here they are. Here's the little plastic. Oh, they are plastic. Okay. Here's the lovely poison and burns. Interesting. Interesting looking. I do quite like these. They do look really, really cool. That is pretty neat. Pretty neat. I'll definitely be uh, switching these over from our other ones. I do quite like them. They are really cool. A bit of plastic off to the side there. What else have we got in here? Should have the dice. Ah, the dice. This is really interesting. I just find find the fact that we've got like a pink dice and then these like blue. Normally they sort of match. Not in this case though. And the set logo, there isn't one. It's literally just going to say EX. That is it. So it's a sort of flaky gold effect in a pinky purple dice. And we've got the sort of gold going around here for all of the numbers. But yeah, it is just EX on there with some uh, some blue ones as well. Quite an interesting choice. And then sleeves as well. Of course, we get some sleeves with the Maridon on here. Gold backing as well. So pretty cool. Um, and yeah, there we go. So I'm going to pop all of the, the, good, the good stuff back in there. Let's pop those in, that in. And then we can close this on up. Pop our dice on the top. And we've got nine packs to open here. Now, again, I'm really not too sure what to expect from this. It was very similar to sort of think you're going to get three things in previous Elite Trainer boxes. Normally, it was like one Hollow, one V, and one V-Star or better, that type of thing. So I'm not too sure what to expect from this. We're obviously going to be guaranteed nine Hollows, but can we get anything else? Let's have a little look. Oh, this one... These packs feel a little bit different uh, compared to, well, the booster box I opened. The booster box had like a, a sticky feel. That was quite harsh. How do you seal something harsh? Anyway, moving on. Uh, let's go. First one up. We've got Dedene, Pinaco, Flittle, Drowsy, Defiance Band. We've got a Tatsu Gear. I'm going to keep that. Uh, Nest Ball. We've got a Fortress as our first uh, reverse. Toad School as our second reverse. And a Cyclazar as our hollow. Of course, Cyclazar is colourless, so the energy won't match. We're going to do that that sort of thing going forward. So we're going to get our Tatsu Tatsugiri's all sorted. Um, I just think the deck would be quite funny, to be honest. Quite funny. Go off to the side, and boom, here we go. So we've got a Chloritza, Grievard, Mass. Mastiff, yeah, Mastiff, uh, Ponyard, Toxtricity, Mousehold, Crocolore, we've got a Growlithe as our first reverse, Marie as our second, and a Pormot as the Hollow, with no energy to confirm that, that's fine. There's the Pormot Hollow. These packs. Noisy packs. All right. Next one up, we've got Foycoco, Namona, Lechonk, Flabebe, Pachirisu, Picnic Basket, Bombardia. We've got a Cloitza as our first reverse. Oh, okay. We get the Toad School as our lovely illustration rare. That's very nice, very colourful. Reminds me of uh, Fusion Strike a bit here with the colour scheme. Can we go for a double? No, okay, we get the Coridon. No energy to match. That's pretty cool, though. We'll take another one of those. I think uh, at some point we're probably going to see quite a lot of uh, duplicates of these artworks, but it'd uh, be pretty cool to try and like hunt down at least one of each. And hopefully, because the pull rates are pretty good, might be quite easy to get them. Sort of like trade for one-to-one -one if you've got a duplicate, that type of thing. That would be pretty cool. All right. So that's three packs down so far. On to our fourth one. Of course, we've got nine in total here. We start off with a Wiglet, Toad's Call, Sandile, 
Houndoom, Florgeous, Muck, Vivalon, Capsicid as that first reverse, Dolive as the second reverse, and King Gambit as the hollow with no energy that is the same. That's cool. Nice, another hollow right there. All right, keep things going, keep them rolling. All right, move that over to the side. We've got another Growlithe, cool. Uh, Staravia, Ralts, Tandemouse, Hypno, Beach Court, Sandaconda, Rock Chestplate as our first hollow, Chansey as our second, and Annihilate as the hollow. Nope, energy is not the same. Okay, let's keep it going. We've got four packs left. One, one hit so far. Hopefully we can maybe expand that a little bit. I'd like to think we could possibly go for maybe an EX and something, something nice. <laughs> I'm going to bring that back. Something nice. Fido, Scatterbug, Drifloon, Sprigatito, Dashbun. We've got another Tatsugiri, so we've got two of those. Scovillum, Flamigo as our first reverse. Pokeball as the second, and the hollow or better of, I believe, uh, with a dark energy. Okay. Not too bad. That is very miscut. That is a very miscut hollow. I don't know whether you can see that. There's definitely more hollow on the left than the right. But there we go. All right. Three packs left. Come on. Love to see a full art. Love to see a full art. I think that'd be pretty cool. Or a double pack, just for the fun of it. Pokey Gear 3.0, Floet, Pour Me, Smoliv, Katie, Staraptor, Electric Generator, Flabebe Reverse is our first. Surviper is the second. Hollow or Rare. Oh, okay, we've got an Arcanine EX. All right. Can we get Fire? Yes, we can. There we go. Nice. We've got a uh, little bonus, a bonus point there. There is no points. Don't worry. It's all good. Okay, so we've got the EX there. Interesting. Interesting, because it's uh, a Tarasla anyway. Uh, yep, I'll see myself out, no worries. <laughs> Alright, we've got a Houndoom, Fido, Scatterbug, Drifloon, Scovillain, Torkoal, Breloom, Cloitza Reverse being the first, second up, Dolive again, and a Dondozo Hollow with another Fire Energy. Okay. Leave that one up. All right, we've got one more pack here, an EX and an Illustrator Rare so far. Can we end with anything on the last pack here? Let's have a little look, see if we've got any luck on this one. Here we go. So we've got ourselves the Pormi, Tarantula, Riolu, Magneton, Toadscrawl, Vitality Band, Cyclozar, Cyclozar Reverse, Oh, okay, electric generator. Is there anything behind it, or are we just at a hollow? Oh, okay, we get the Great Tusk EX. Very nice. Okay, cool. Something new. Do we have a fighting energy? No, that's cool. Let's have a little look at what this one is. Let's get a sleeve on this one. So it is a fighting Pokemon with 250 HP. Great Tusk EX. Doesn't have to evolve from anything. It's literally just a basic. So we've got Bedrock Breaker for 40, and you discard a stadium in play. And then we've got gig uh, Gigantic Tusks for 250, and it does 50 to itself. Um, it's got a Retreat of 4 and a Weakness to Psychic as well. This is definitely one off my list. This was part of the, the deck I want to construct. I want to do the fighting deck, and I wanted Great Tusk to be in it. Um, the fact that you can discard the Stadium, pretty cool. It's a nice little extra just for wet energy as well. You're doing 40. If I'm going against Maridon or any Lightnings, it it's going to be double damage because it's weak. So that would be 80. Um, 250, pretty devastating. Um, pretty big numbers there. It's going to knock itself out. You know, if it was to verse itself, 250, 250, boom. Um, yes, it does 50 to itself. Okay, we can deal with that. Um, it does put it down to about 200 or 150 Pokemon, but it's doing some pretty decent damage there, and that doesn't stop it from attacking. So I do quite like that. A little bit of healing on there. You don't need to worry about that then. Um, you know, you've got, like, uh, the healing with... Ooh, what's it called? Serena? The Radiant Serena? That does 20. 
and then you've also got switch card which does 30 so you can heal 50 great and this thing's ready to go again so yeah do quite like this one a lot um i think it could be quite interesting be uh quite nice to sort of see what it does but yeah overall very very cool it looks a lot looks a lot um more now compared to what it used to when it was just like there's three things great um now it is literally just a stack of pulls here but yeah very happy with what we managed to get there that toad scroll um illustrator uh, illustration rare the ex and then a terrestrial ex as well followed by of course uh, a lovely amount of seven hollows so 10 pulls in total from nine packs can't ask for anything more than that i mean you could probably get a bit more than that but you know 10 out of 9 that is pretty cool indeed um we don't obviously class the the hollows because it's in each pack but you know obviously it is a pull um but they're not like the big pulls we still got the three though still got the three just looks a lot more but yeah there we go so big question is is this one going to be better than the Coridon? well that one will be coming up after our next booster box so we've got another booster box to follow then we'll be having a look at Coridon and see exactly what this is going to be uh, looking like and go from there but yeah there we go hope you guys did enjoy this uh, this video checking out the first elite trainer box um and of course don't forget we did also get that promo as well so really really cool let me know if you guys are just picking up one of the elite trainer boxes which one are you going for you're going to go for your game sake the one that you purchased for the game oh you, you, the, the game that you purchased sorry i can't speak um <laughs> one of those let me know in the comments below if you have already got one let me know what your pulls were like um be interesting to sort of see was it sort of like the three with the seven hollows that type of thing um let me know in the comments below but yeah hope you guys did enjoy thanks thanks for your support on the videos and yeah i'll catch you guys in the next video on the channel i'll see you then